Hello, welcome to Radiation Test. And today is November 26, 2011. And uh, we had a unique opportunity here at Radiation Test today because it's been raining all day long in southern Illinois. And if you guys look over here at the jet stream, earlier in the day, the jet stream was not quite over the top of us and the rain was falling. We was getting like a maybe a glancing blow off of it, but over the next couple of hours, the the jet stream with high wind moved directly over the top of us here at a radiation test. And I thought it'd be a unique opportunity to do a wipe, and then as the jet stream moved over the top of us, uh, do another wipe and see uh, the difference between the two. So. Let me show you guys what we got. Here it is. Now, here's several hours of background radiation running. And then at 3.10 p.m. we put the first sample in front of the Geiger-Muller tube. And we had a real subtle spike, but you can see it right there. And then I, I let it run for about 90 minutes and took the paper towel away from the Geiger counter. And here's background running all the way up until 7.45 p.m. which I put the second wipe in front of the Geiger-Muller tube and that's what we got right there and I'd like to point something else out uh, you can see the background running right here but look at this there's a slight trend upward with the background right here leading up to me putting the second wipe in front of the Geiger counter and just using common sense, I would assume that what's happened here is as the jet stream moved over the top of us, the rain became more radioactive, and that includes alpha particles, beta particles, and gamma rays. Now, alpha and beta particles are, you can stop those, uh, uh, well, alpha can be stopped with paper and beta can be stopped with wood, but gamma rays are very penetrating and they can penetrate through the walls of a house, through concrete, through lead. So I assume what happened here is we're getting more gamma radiation. Uh, the rain's coming down on top of us. It's uh, radioactive. It has gamma radiation in it. And it's penetrating the walls of the house, coming right in here to this computer desk, right in here to this Geiger counter. So I would assume that the jet stream moved in somewhere about here which would be about 1850 so uh, that's what we have guys it certainly appears as though the jet stream is uh, playing a part in how radioactive our rain is so thanks for watching radiation test guys bye